Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and I would like to discuss a new topic today about Canva and this is you might as well consider as a hack. So as you may have noticed if you have been using Canva before, there is no eyedropper tool on Canva unlike um, if you use Photoshop. Here's a little nifty thing for you to do if you wanted to use the eyedropper tools. What we can do is to just search for eyedropper and the first Chrome extension that would appear, that's the thing that we wanted to have and that's the thing that we wanted to incorporate as we use Canva. So later you will know the importance why we have to use an eyedropper or why we need or why we need something like this. So just click on the eyedropper tool all right and you will have an option to add to chrome so just click on that and then of course you will see the extension right here can you see it it's on the upper right hand corner of your screen and the eyedropper is an open source extension for google chrome which allows you to pick colors from various sources actually you can use it um, in any parts of the screen that you are looking at and not just in canva but for the benefit of this lesson for today we are going to use that on canva and before we go to canva let me show you this one so pick color from web page so you can pick any color in the current web page and store it in history or copy to your clipboard or you can pick a color from the color picker as well so it's not just on the web page but if there is a color picker in the website that you are um, currently at then you can choose colors as well and then you can pick color from the history as well so your eyedropper extension will be saving um, the history of the choices of the colors that you have picked in the past so there is uh, the updates for the so the updates for this Chrome extension um, happened way back in 2017. So there's really no new update for now. So we don't have to discuss all the things right here. So let's go back to Canva. Okay, and let us create a new design. So I'm thinking of designing an Instagram post. So I'm going to click on that. And our Canva design tool or the interface will load um let's try to, ch to choose a colorful template all right let's choose this one so that we can try out the color picker okay so as of this point um if you wanted to know the hex code you have to go here all right and you have to go to it doesn't actually identify the document colors okay um and the only way for you to identify that is to click on the plus sign and then it will show up here now there's a new way to do that if you have the color picker so you click on it all right and then you just have to click on pick color from web page and then point to the color where you want to know the hex code is all right and then as you can see here on top your color picker has already picked up the color that we chose so the hex code and the hsl the rgb codes will appear so the hex code for this is ff5550 i'm not sure if that's the same color that canva identifies with this template so let's check if there is a little discrepancy okay it says ff5451 so there's a little bit of the a discrepancy when it comes to the hex codes but i'm sure it, it it's not a big um difference so let's try again let's try this one okay and then let's see the hex code it's eab759 if we choose the color picker let's see or probably because I pointed oh yes now I know why there's a difference in the color picker codes that the colors 
or the eyedropper is picking. It's because the eyedropper is more specific. It depends on the shade because as you can see, it's not a um, uniform shade of color. So that's why it's picking just where we click on the color itself. So which portion of the color or which portion of the template. So I think that's where it matters. But really, um, the colors are still the same. It's on the same spectrum. It's not so much of a difference okay so that's how you do it now say for example we wanted to change the color of this one and we wanted to use the color here all right so we can choose to search if we want to or the other option is we can go there highlight it and then go to our color picker click on the the color that we want to use and then just copy the hex code so copy and then go here click the plus sign and paste the hex code and there you go it already changed the color so this can be applicable to other designs that you want so say for example let's try this one all right, it's not Halloween right now, but for uh, I just wanted to show you how you can use the color picker. So let's say, for example, we wanted to change this to the first coral color that we chose earlier. Um, that that's how it is because it's already there. Now, if we want to choose this, then we can copy. So you can either use your your shortcut keys on your keyboard or use your mouse and copy and paste so we have already copied and then highlight the text and click the plus sign and then paste it and the font color will be changed now let's try this one i want to change the background and change it to the first color that we chose so let me copy that okay and then we go here actually canva saves the history because it's part of our document already um it's on the first page but if you are if you open the new document then these colors will not show so you will have to do that manually so i'm just showing you so you will be familiar on the things that you need to do when you create separate folders or separate documents for this one so there you go um, that's how you change the colors or that's how you use the eyedropper tool on Canva. And again, this is not just applicable on Canva. If you are working on a different document on a different tab, um, you can still use the eyedropper tool. So the eyedropper tool can be applied to any tabs that you are using and not just on Canva. So... Um, if, if you find yourself one day looking for the eyedropper tool because you have been used to using it um, when you use tools like Photoshop, then this is a good trick. This is a good hack to have. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know if you have any requests on the topic that you want me to discuss. Please send them my way. Leave a comment if you have not subscribed yet i hope you subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you will be notified when i publish a new video that's all for now thank you so much again for joining me and you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world goodbye before you came round my heart would never be much faster before you came round i was ready to slow